Okay, so chlorination of benzene is very similar to nitration of benzene. So for this, you can only love one mechanism, but you have to be able to uh, change it around depending on what they give you. So, overall reaction is I take benzene and I add in chlorine, so it can be any catalyst. My catalyst is actually iron trichloride. Did the electrophilic substitution? I feel like I'm going to have to examine this before I join in benzene with like maintenance here. Well done. Just because of that. Plus HCl. So, all we need to do is adjust the mechanism on the one that we did for nitration, really. So we said our Electrophile was NO2 plus because we added an NO2 group. Hazard a guess. What will it be here? Chlorobenzene. Chlorine and trichloroquine. Just the electrophile. Oh, yeah, the chlorine and the catalyst. Yeah, so what's going to be the attacking species? Mm. When it was NO2, I had it, it was NO2 plus. I've added a Cl, so it's going to be. Cl plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be positive because it's an electrophile. Close. Yeah. Sorry, I thought chlorine was going to be. No, you are so Why is it at Cl2? Oh, it's an HCl. Yeah, okay. So, first of all, I'm going to make my electrophile. So, step one generate the electrophile. So Cl2 is going to meet Fe Cl3, which is my catalyst, and it makes Cl plus, which will be my electrophile, and Fe Cl4 minus. So iron trichloride splits the chlorine molecule up. What kind of bond fission would that be? Nice one. And then the mechanism, easy peasy, again, electrophilic substitution, numero two. Here's benzene. My attacking species now is Cl plus. There, my electrons go. That gives me. Real. So it works out how unhappy is basically. It's like compare. I don't know if I'm being stupid, but comparing the diagrams, like the one with the chlorine has much more water, so I always can't find which one has good waters. Okay. The key thing is that the circle must be broken where you have okay. substituted. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to give me H, which is still on there. And CL. Next step is going to be um, regeneration of catalyst. Oh, oh okay. H goes to the plus to give me chlorobenzene plus H plus. Yeah, cool. And final step Can is. Can you get all the rainbows for? What's what for? Sir? Rainbow. Yeah. Oh, because it's unhappy. It's fine. <coughs> no, but why is it unhappy? What does it mean? Because, oh, because the electron might have. Oh, so it's lost its outer, so it's not a circle or something. Yeah, it's lost two electrons from the circle. Yeah. So it's a rainbow. Is it FECL3 or FECL2? Here. Change it. FECL3. Because it becomes FeCl4 when you're adding the chlorine. So it's FeCl3 on the arrow and then you're drawing it down. Yeah, that's right. Okay, then finally, I'm going to regenerate my catalyst. Any ideas? Um, H plus with FeCl4 minus. Brilliant, yeah. So 
So set three, regenerate. And you can predict that because you've got your product ACL. Have you made ACL yet? Oh no. Okay, so you've got to have these two. So you have got FECL4 minus plus H plus gives me FECL3 and HCL. Fabulous. So they both follow the same routine, it's just a matter of applying it to different electrophones.